But uh, give Purdue credit. I thought they really guarded the heck out of us in the second half. And um, we had a hard time dealing with them and stuff in the paint. We didn't do enough tough stuff in the paint. Um, but um, so a tough one to swallow because we had played well enough. And I love the start we got off to. Mike, in the middle. What changed in the second half offensively? Um, probably a little bit same thing happened last Saturday. I don't think our movement was great. That's two Saturdays in a row against really good teams. We stopped moving and we stood a little bit. Probably the best movement we got is when we subbed and had TJ and Rex in there. And um, I really love what they gave us. You know, our bench gave us good stuff tonight. Probably should have played them more. How do you account for that? Just two weeks in a row, same kind of thing happening. Coaching. Can you elaborate more on that, just what you saw? And you know, probably a little bit of fatigue, um, you know, on our part. Um, probably got to get them a little more organized, and that's on me to help them a little bit more with some stuff. Um, we just couldn't get one, couldn't get an easy one to kind of – make us feel good. But I think you got to give Purdue credit. And, and again, Villanova did the same thing. I mean, you know, we're not in the league of the two high-level teams we played. I told them that, you know, we, we got a nice team. I love our team. We're not in their league right now. we got some work to do before New Year's Eve. Coach, how concerned are you with Gevin and Beecham both getting shut out in the second half? You know, I, I'm not so concerned about that. I mean, I thought Martin Gevin battled. I'm not worried about him as much. Um, with VJ, I think they really took him away. And we don't want him to force stuff. You know, it's, it's kind of, uh, for him, the way we play, we're not like running stuff for him all the time. <clears throat> but I mean, over the course of the game, um, he usually gets pretty good looks. I'm glad he didn't force anything. You know, Steve was trying so hard, I feel for him. He had a tough, tough night, you know, we're, beat good teams. It, for us to beat really good teams like the two last Saturdays, our big four all have to play really well. And, you know, we, we didn't have that. But we'll go to work on that be, over the next couple of weeks before we have to play uh, our opener in the ACC. Mike, how can you do the tough stuff better maybe there in the second half? Yeah, I don't know, Tom. I mean, um, you know, when you're downshifted a little bit against their physicality, you're going to give up some rebounding and some stuff in the paint. And we knew we'd give that up. Um, we absorbed it pretty good in the first half because we could score on the other end, but we couldn't get anything going offensively in the second half. Um, and, and, you know, human nature is human nature. You know, you, you can tell your guys to guard even though they have a tough offensive possession, but we don't get into any flow that we get into offensively. It wears on you a little bit mentally, and I thought it did on us really both games, last Saturday and today. And then when you don't get anything from VJ and Steve in the second half, you're not going to win many games like that, are no, you? No, I mean, we're not going to be good teams. You know, those guys had a tough one. And, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're, we're, they're real, that's a really good team. And um, for us, those guys, like our big four, they have to be really good for us to be good teams. And, um, you know, but we'll, We'll bounce back and work on some stuff. We got some time to work on some stuff before. And we got two games where we can work on some stuff before league play starts. Mike, Purdue went to that smaller look to start the second half with Edwards at the power forward. Just, I guess, how did that change the dynamic and the impact that he and Swanigan both made? Well, I think they could guard us better. They did a much better job, you know, on the ball screen defense. We got what we wanted in the first half. And... Um, you know, for the most part, they did a really good job in the ball screen stuff in the second half. They made a good adjustment. And not having their two bigs on the floor helped them, you know. And it's darn if you do, darn if you don't. If you're going to help on Swanigan, you give up a three. And, you know, we finally tried to help a little bit because he was just crushing us in there. And it was hard to play defense without fouling him. Um, but, uh, you know, it's one of those things. When do you help and, you know, when do you play with fire and give up a three-point shot? Mike, like we, when you get to this time of year, like you said, you're looking to end of December and work to do. What most do you want to see between now and then? Yeah, um, you know, I, I think still our interior defense 
and, and defensive rebounding is going to be a key. And, you know, I thought that would be an issue I would be worried about. It was an issue I worried about in October. And we've made progress. Don't get me wrong. We're, we've made progress. But when we really start to play up, it's got to be better, and that's an area we have to really address over the next couple of weeks. Thank you.